Let's take a look at the global market highlights and news for April 8th, 2014. Airbnb values soar. Markets turning down with little data. And the US dollar continues on a strong note. Let's see what's happening in the global markets now. In the global equities market, Wall Street closed sharply lower as investors strike a cautious note ahead of earnings season. The hardest hit were tech stocks, while the S&P 500 saw its worst three-day span since late January. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gave up 166.84 points, or 1.02%, to 162.45.87. The S&P 500 eased by 20.05 points to 1845.04, while the Nasdaq slumped 47.97 points to 4079.75. There was little in the way of economic news to interest traders, with investors largely taking their leads from last Friday's mixed jobs data, largely upbeat comments from Federal Reserve member James Bullard, and news of further unrest in Ukraine. The weakness on U.S. markets followed a soft day in Europe, with the main indices losing over 1%. Airbnb, the only B&B and booking company, may soon be worth more than all but three of America's largest hotel chains. The, the website that lets you rent people's homes and apartments is reportedly finalizing a deal to raise about $500 million more from private equity firm TPG Capital and other investors, bringing the company's valuation to $10 billion. Staying in a stranger's place is not only acceptable now, but for an increasing number of people, it's the preferred way to book a vacation rental. It helps tourists feel more like locals. In the foreign exchange market, the dollar fell modestly against most currencies as analysts saw little immediate prospect for tighter U.S. monetary policy. The euro rose to 1.3740 from 1.3701 Friday. The dollar slipped to 103.09 yen from 103.25 of the Japanese currency. The euro advanced to 141.65 yen from 141.49. The March labor report showed the U.S. added 192,000 jobs, which was close to expectations but not good enough to suggest the U.S. Federal Reserve will accelerate the timetable for raising benchmark interest rates. Traders now wait on the Bank of Japan's decision. In the commodity space, gold prices rose 18.90 to close at 1303.50, its highest close since March 25th. The highest price in more than a week came after data showed that the U.S. created slightly fewer jobs than expected in March. The data pointed to moderate improvement in the labor market, suggesting the Federal Reserve is likely to keep interest rates near zero well into 2015. Oil prices have fallen after rebels agreed to reopen two of the four blockade oil export terminals in eastern Libya, suggesting the country's blockade supplies might come back on the market. West Texas Intermediate finished at 100.44 a barrel, a decline of 70 U.S. cents from Friday's close. Brent North Sea Crew dropped 90 U.S. cents to settle at 105.82. This is Amy Anderson from Option Rally signing off. The Option Rally news team will be taking their spring vacation from April 13th and will return on the 1st of May with an exciting new format. Have a great day.